we come to test five of review our first problem problem number one this is a circuit problem it says two resistors r1 is 25 ohms and r2 is 60 ohms are placed in series so make sure you read that carefully they're placed in series with a 12 volt power supply what is the current in the system what is the voltage drop across each resistor what is the power supplied by the power source and what is the power dissipated in each resistor so we uh, draw the circuit here, 12 volt battery. We have a 25 ohm resistor, 60 ohm resistor, and we wanna know what is the current in the circuit. So remember how do resistors add up in series? I've mentioned this before. Resistors in series add up like regular R1 plus R2. 25 plus 60 is gonna be 80. 85 that's the total resistance of the circuit okay well if the total resistance of the circuit is 85 uh, what would be the current well this uh, circuit would act like this a 12 volt battery connected to an 85 ohm resistance so what would the current be the current is voltage divided by total resistance so it'd be 12 divided by 85 which is how many amps? One amps. So that's the current in the circuit, right? So we answered this question here. What is the current in the system? That's the answer to part A, 0 0.141 amps. What is the voltage drop across each resistor? So the voltage for each resistor is IR, right? So voltage for the 25 ohm resistor is IR. So 0.141 times 25, you get 3.53 volts. The voltage across the 60 ohm resistor is 60 times 0 0.141. So the current times the resistance of the 60 ohm resistor, 0 0.141 times 60, and that gives you 8.4 8.47. If you use the non-rounded version of this, and the non-rounded version of this, you get uh, 3.53, 8.47. 8 if you add those, what you sh should you get? Well, if you add this set 47 to 53, then that gives you 12, right? Basically, this gives you one, and then four, 12. The sum of the two voltages, voltage of the 25 plus the voltage of the 60, should give you the voltage of the power source, which is 12 volts, okay? C, what is the power supplied by the power supply? The power supply supplies power, it's equal to its voltage times the current going through the power supply. Uh, uh, we can say battery is equal to voltage of the battery times the current. So we need to multiply 12 times the total current going through it. So uh, 12 times 0.141. 12, 4 watts, 1.694 watts. <clears throat> okay, now what's the power uh, dissipated in each resistor? Those should also add up. If I add the power of this and the power lost in here, I should get the power that the battery is delivering. So the power of the 25 volt resistor, well, I could either do this version voltage of the 25 times the current going through the 25, or I could do I squared R, the current going through the 25 ohm resistor squared times its resistance, or I could do V squared over R, voltage of the 25 ohm resistor squared over R, so either way. So in this case, um, uh, since I know that the current is 0.141, and then I'm just going to square that, multiply it by its uh, resistance 25. I'm going to multiply it by 25. 0 0.498. 0 0.498 watts is the power dissipated in the 25. And the power dissipated in the uh, 60 is going to be 0 0.141 squared times 60. <coughs> One point one nine six watts. 
Now, if I add the two uh, wattage, 1.196 plus 0.498, 1.196 plus 0.498, 1.694. So if I add these two, it's got to be equal to that. And it is. Okay? Now, how would the answers change if this was a, a parallel circuit? Let's answer the same questions. What would change? Well, in parallel, their resistance adds up in a different way, right? 25... 60, then I would have to do what? 1 over R2, 1 over R total is equal to 1 over 25 plus 1 over 60. So what you have to do is you have to do 1 over 25 plus 1 divided by 60. Then after adding them, you reciprocate it to the power negative 1. Now the resistance total is 17.647. So what has happened is the net resistance of the system is less than either one by itself, right? Then you connect that to a 12 volt uh, battery. Then you can say what's the current in the system gonna be? Pi is gonna be 12 over 17.647. <clears throat> and then the uh, current in the system comes out, actually comes out pretty uh, straightforward, 0.68, perfectly 0.68. That's actually uh, more current than in series, right? So one of the things we learned from this problem is that you can draw out more current from a battery when you have resistors in parallel. You can use that battery more to its full potential than versus putting the resistors in series, right? Now, we can say, what is the voltage drop across each resistor? Both of them are gonna be the same voltage. It's gonna be 12 volts, 12 volts, 12 volts, okay? C, what is the power supplied by the power source? Power of the battery is going to be 12 times the current, okay? A lot more power, right? I'm able to utilize that battery to its more full potential, right? 8.16 watts. A lot more power is being drawn from the battery. <clears throat> A lot more power is being drawn by the battery than when the resistors were in series. Okay, how about what is the power dissipated in each resistors? Those should also add up, right? Now, which one should I use? This time, it's, I should use the V squared over R version. Since they both have the same voltage, I know it's 12 volts. I don't need to find out what the current in each one is, unless the problem asks me so, right? So I just can use V squared over R, so 12 squared over 25, and then the power of 60 ohms, and this was the power of the 25, it's gonna be 12 squared over 60. Utilize uh, both of them more to their full potential. So if I add those, I do get the uh, same as the, uh, the power of the battery, 8.16, right? So now you know how to analyze both um, uh, resistors in series and resistors in parallel circuit uh, diagrams and how to find the power, current, and voltage of each one, okay? Thank you very much.